Hello, welcome to the combat series and in this video we are going to be making advanced NPCs. So the NPCs will able to block and stuff. So let me insert the NPC again. What the alright. Now in the service script, let me re enable the dummy spawn. There we go. So here this is um, a server script, but we want the dummy to be able to block. So the best way to do it is to create a module script for it. So let's create it inside the combat manager, and let's create a new function. A function module dot block. There we go. Just copy all this. Um. Character, oops, the character, put the blocking, and let's require the combat table, local CT, require game, not sure storage, but now use the combat table. There we go, CT, character now. Okay, now we need to copy the stop animation. Oops, put it here. Stop animation. There we go. First, I'll need to require this. So, local combat manager. Require game dot server storage combat manager. So, combat manager dot block player player dot character and blocking. There we go. Here I'll show you the problem. Okay, so I'm getting hit, right? I can block while I'm getting hit. That's because I forgot to set this to CV stand. There we go. Now I shouldn't be able to block while I'm stunned. There we go. I'm pressing F. I can't block. So here I'll make a new property. Block chance. Okay. So the higher the block chance, the more likely the dummy will block. So I want to do 5. The dummy will only block if the character is attacking and the combo is not a max combo. Or if the combo is not 5. So to do that, we can do something like this. Okay, let's create random block. So we'll do this, create random block. Math.random Z1 to 100 Actually, I'll do 0 to 100 So if the random block is smaller or equals to the block chance Then it's going to block if the character is attacking So if the random block is 5 then it's going to block if the random block is 6 It's not going to block if the random block is smaller than the block chance Which is 2 or 3 or 4 then it's going to block and if I set my block chance to 100, it's going to block 100% of the time. So yeah, let's do something like this. If random block is smaller or equals to self block chance, then and let's create a new and let's require the combat table local combat combat table okay so if combat table c let's put this here actually let's put this is in inside of if c there we go Oops, I forgot to copy this. Forgot to copy the entire thing. So put this inside of if C and combat team if combat table C that attacking equals true. You don't need that. Okay, if combat table attacking or actually no, we'll do and combat table C dot combo isn't five, then it's going to block. So combat manager 
Let's require combat manager as well. Local combat manager. Manager equals require game. Modules combat manager. There we go. Combat manager. Manager. I misspelled it. Manager. Dot block. The dummy, which is NPC. True. Mm. I then will do something like this. Point one. Motion. Combat manager. Combat manager. Dot block. NPC false. But if combat table see attacking or and actually and the combo is smaller than five then return n. So if the character is still attacking then it's not going to unblock. It's going to unblock when the character stops attacking or when the combo is five. And let's set this to smaller than five instead of not five. There we go. I think the dummy should block 100% of the time. Okay, it's blocking. The problem is it's not always attacking. See, it's blocking. Yeah, it's blocking even after my attack ends. Okay, so this is another problem. So could do something like this inside of the combat manager we do this here and we set the stun to true okay so that because we already stopped attacking we're stunned so we'll do that because the dummy thinks that we're still attacking even though we stopped attacking so yeah, we'll just do stunt instead of attacking there. Now this should work. One, two, three, four, five. It's not blocking, see? Okay, in dummy spawn, I'll set npc.block chance to five so that it doesn't constantly block. And I'll set damage to zero. So it doesn't keep killing me. Okay, so for the air combat, let's create a new property. So jump chance, pretty much the same as this. Uh, we'll do this instead of if this. Okay. So let me create local random jump. Same as this. If random jump is smaller or equals to self dot jump chance, then combat table NPC jumping equals to test delay point sixteen set this back to false. It's two point seventeen. 16.5 okay see it works no there's the problem as you can see it's not flinging upwards I'll explain to you why that is happening so here inside of the fling handler it waits 3.5 seconds to this to drop the character right so let me print the drop so the problem is um the delay happens after the dummy finished the air combo so let me explain this let me see it drops even after the combo has ended so it, it drops the next air combos you see it doesn't drop the current combo but it drops the next combo so to fix that, it's not um, a real fix, I don't think so, I don't think this is a good fix, but we'll think about a good fix in the next videos or something. So instead of 
changing the delay to or instead of setting the delay to 0.45 I'm going to set the delay to um, 1.5 seconds see it always works this is another problem see it, it never fails to air combat now okay so now I'll set the air combat chance to 5 again ABC dot air combat jump chance to 5 okay 5% 5 it's the same as 5% now there is another problem let me disable the dummy spawn hold on let me make a script for a dummy lock dummy let's create a script um, Require um, local combat manager. Require combat team manager. So true. Okay, so it flings my character outside of if hit service dot hit. Regardless whether or not the hit module return a value, it'll still do this. So, to do that, I'll do the fling instead of here. There we go. I'll remove fling equals true. I'll remove slam equals true. And I'll set all this. I'll set the e root part and ey instead of the if hit. Hold on. There we go. Now we do if fling if slam. Actually, we don't need this, and we don't need this. We just need slam equals true or fling equals true. There we go. We don't need this. We do not need this. There we go. Now this sh there should now there shouldn't be any problems. As you can see. It works now. And now inside of the hit service, we'll just disconnect this without needing. So yeah. I'm pretty sure that's all it. That it's not actually that hard. It's just making the dummy block and air combat. And this is a bonus chapter. We're going to be preloading animations. So let's go to replicate it first. Replicate it first is um, always replicates first. Anything inside of replicate it first gets replicated first. So if the script is inside of here, it gets replicated first before any all these directories, okay? So let's do wait, let's do game, dot replicate storage, wait for child, punch enemies, so it'll wait for this, and let's require the content provider sync, so content provider, game, get service, content provider okay and now you um, create a variable for your assets so I need to preload my punch enemies punch enemies get children and I want to preload my hidden enemies hit enemies get children I also oops get children so it puts it inside of a table and I also want to preload my sword enemies get children there we go and now content provider preload a sync um let's rename this to preload assets punch enemies Hit enemies and sword enemies. 
one um preloading successful preloading assets so let me disable the script first and let me show you what it looks like without the preloading as you can see the animation has a delay because it needs to load it first but with the preloading it'll be able to preload the animations preloading assets preloading successful and now everything is preloaded block block let me re-enable the dummy script and i'll do the outro all right so this is it for this video thank you for watching and i'll see you later oh my god i think you'll need to add an anti-fling script for your character but let's do that in a future video Thank you for watching, and I will see you later. Goodbye.